Hey guys, today Apple has officially released iOS 11.1 as anticipated. 11.1 brings a bunch of new features, bug fixes, and improvements. And we're going to cover everything in this video. Just a quick recap. I also have a battery comparison of iOS 11.2 beta 1, which was released yesterday, versus 11.1, the official release. We're going to take a look at that. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at 11.1. If you want to update, you can go to settings, general software updates, and you'll get populated here with 11.1 to update your device. And I highly recommend you do because in terms of security apple has fixed the lock screen bypass that i came across a few weeks back that has officially been fixed with 11.1 as you can see there they even credit me for submitting the information for the lock screen bypass which will give you access to photos that's been fixed in 11.1 now another important bug that puts you at risk is the wpa2 wi-fi crack the fix for that has been patched with 11.1 officially you want to update just because of that is very 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 important now aside from security fixes which are very important battery has also improved if you watch my battery performance test from 11.0 to 11.0.3 in comparison to 11.1 11.1 definitely improves the battery on your device if you want to watch that video links in the description now 11.1 also brings a bunch of new features and bring back old features as well like the 3d touch multitasker just like that pretty cool so just for this a lot of people i'm sure are going to update because of that new feature or a feature that's been added that was there before and now it's back again in addition to that a bunch of new emojis are now available on ios 11.1 i know a lot of you guys enjoy the new emojis there's over 70 new ones and 11.1 i think you guys are going to really really love now unfortunately with ios 11.1 we did not get the peer-to-peer -peer payments with apple cash or apple pay on the iMessages application we didn't get that just yet neither did we get the iMessages and iCloud that features or those two features were set to make their debut with 11.1 we do have 11.2 beta right now currently going hopefully we'll see it with that and for those of you running ios 11.1 beta 5 don't worry beta 5 is the same build number as today 15b93 so you have nothing to worry about if you want to go ahead and delete the uh, beta profile you can go to your profiles here tap into it delete it restart your iphone but you'll see that beta 5 for 11.1 is the exact same software so nothing to worry about if you want to keep the beta profile installed to update to future betas of ios you can do that or you can remove the profile and just simply install 11.1 but there's not going to be any changes from beta 5 to official release today now aside from ios 11.1 apple also released watch os 4.0 with the new radio application and new apple music streaming service direct Directly on Apple Watch so pretty cool stuff happening on the Apple Watch as well and here are some of the recaps of some of the release notes as you can see here the emojis new issues that were fixed inside of photos one that affected me personally was that some of photos appeared blur after you delete others so that issue has been fixed if you had that issue as I did that has been fixed additional fixes here as you can see additional accessibility features have been addressed as well and also Apple Watch and 3d touch uh, new features have been added to those devices to the iphone and the apple watch with the 3d touch multitasking and a fixes for the apple watch when it comes to gps i mean just a lot going on with 11.1 and watch os 4.1 so if you update to 11.1 make sure you update your apple watch as well you're going to get a bunch of new features security patches and overall improvements in speed and battery overall now i did run a battery test last night until today with ios 11.2 versus 11.1 and i wanted to see just for reference to see if 11.2 which is anticipated beta to come in the future a few weeks from now to see if it's better than 11.1 because 11.1 was better than 11.0 and 11.03 so let's see if apple continues to improve now one thing i do want to note is brightness is up 100 on all devices at all times only one application was running which is the clocks application and the bluetooth and wi-fi was enabled now from left to right iphone 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus and then the iphone se so the first device to die unfortunately is the iphone 7 plus which by the way it always dies first the 7 plus on every test the iphone 6 plus died a second with four hours and 48 minutes the iphone 7 plus by the way four hours and 22 minutes iphone se after that with five hours and then the iphone 8 plus with five hours and eight minutes that's ios 11.1 official final release today so here is ios 11.2 beta 1 again saying from left to right we have iphone 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus and se so for 11.2 
we have the iPhone 7 Plus with 4 hours and 55 minutes, the iPhone 6 Plus with 5 hours and 5 minutes, iPhone SE 4 hours and 55, and then the iPhone 8 Plus, same amount of time, 5 hours and 8 minutes. So in terms of increase in battery performance from 11.1 to 11.2 beta 1, the only device that improved the battery by at least 25 to 30 minutes was the iPhone 7 Plus, luckily, and the iPhone 6 Plus by a good 15 to 10 minutes, but everything else stayed the same. So overall, the battery performance on the devices is looking good. Now keep in mind, your device is not going to last five hours. Remember, have the brightness up 100%. The iPhone is running with the display at 100% on the whole time in order to get the time lapse. This is just a reference. The takeaway from these tests is the amount of extra time that we see of on-screen time. So if you normally have eight hours of on-screen time, and I say you have an extra 30 minutes on iPhone 7 Plus, just add those 30 minutes to the amount of time that your iPhone normally lasts to you. Not that it's gonna last four or five hours for you because you're not doing what I'm doing. So anyway guys, that about brings it into this video. A whole lot happening today with iOS 11.1, watchOS 4.1. Really big day for Apple for patching the WPA2 uh, Wi-Fi problem, the lock screen bypass. All this stuff was fixed with 11.1. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be updating. It's been a device help. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you real soon. Peace.